He was nominated for Disney Teacher of the Year, one of 39 who went for this award. He is a magician, balloon maker, one of very few who makes Filipino kites, and he is the 2000 Honolulu District Teacher of the Year from Nu'uanu Elementary School. We welcome Kelvin Chan. Right. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for being with us, and congratulations oh, thank on you. the awards. We do have video. You just came back uh, recently yes. from the awards ceremony for Disney. If we can roll that video. Is that... What is that from your class, yeah, that's actually? From my class. Okay, you are a computer technology te technology uh, teacher. teacher, and um, are we going to be seeing any video from the awards ceremony? Uh, no, this is just Otherwise a clip we'll that they took from oh, the class. Oh, okay, and yeah. they showed it yeah. on air on, on the air. Disney Channel. Yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. Now, okay, we're going to be talking about kites. Is there uh -huh. any way that you bring this into your classroom, or? Is there a, it's to balance your life out? Yeah, we have uh, our fifth grade class, they um, create the simpler kites, and then they do research on it, and they're gonna uh, make the kites and fly their kites. And they do research yeah. on the computer? On the Is computers, on the internet, it? yeah. That's wonderful. Now tell us about your kite making experience. You had quite a teacher. Yeah, my mentor, he's a Filipino kite maker. He said um, the Chinese, when they emigrated to the Philippines, they learned the art of um, kite making. And then um, about 10 years ago, I got this State Cultural Arts Foundations grant, and um, he taught it to me, this art. What is the art? I mean, how is it different from other kite making? Well, this, it starts off with a traditional, um, it's bamboo, and it's shaved, and um, everything is symmetrical and well-balanced. Um, usually when people think about kites, they think about kites with tails. The mm -hmm. tail is there to balance, but the tail for this kite is this uh, bottom portion of the kite. And the wind push up on the kite, and it flies almost perpendicular to the ground. Oh, so, how, I'm sorry, how long does it take to make one like that? Oh, it could take about a month if really? you, you know, do it to perfection. But I, I modified it and added um, more, more um, current kinds of materials. So rather than using bamboo, some mm -hmm. of my kites here, I use uh, fiberglass, uh, like from a fishing pole. Oh, and then okay. um, in the past, the traditional method was to use uh, tissue paper or rice paper. So I, over here I have ripstop nylon and taffeta nylon. I also have mylar and uh, incorporated current materials, modernized materials. That's wonderful. And they're going to be on display. And you're going to actually be making some at the Academy um, of Arts? Well, they'll just be on display, and I'll be showing You'll them. You'll be there. Yeah. OK. Academy of Arts, do you know what at, time? From 1 to 5, but I'll be there about 3 to 4.30. On Sunday. On Sunday. Thank you so much. These are beautiful. Excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> I am just so in awe. They are beautiful and wonderful work in the classroom as Thank well. You. Thank you. Congratulations. It's 558. We'll be back with more Good Morning Hawaii with all our top stories starting now. <laughs> Thank you.